What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today we're talking about Halo Infinite and the last update before Season 5's arrival. Season 5 for Halo Infinite has been one of the most anticipated seasonal drops that we've seen in a very long time. And the question is whether or not this new update will actually give us some incentive to jump back into the game before the new season officially does arrive for Halo Infinite. There have been some major changes or additions that have been made, but the question is whether or not these are any good changes or if it's something you might want to skip on until season five finally arrives. I give my overall impressions and answer these questions in my final verdict. But before we jump into the update, if you like these quick news update types of videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. So let's jump right into it. One of the key things I see right away is the fact that we're actually getting a plethora of new Tenrite based maps added right into Halo Infinite. Each map dropped essentially is going to have that very unique samurai or Tenrite based aesthetic that gives off a very samurai look that is unique depending on the different areas. And you first off, you got to give a lot of kudos to the Forge creators here that have been getting a lot of positive reviews from the Halo players. And I feel as if these can go into any playlist and be kind of perfect. I personally have played every single map to this point, and I feel as if they've all kind of hit really well, meaning that they either one have been play tested heavily because they are very almost identical to other maps that have been already created. And but that each one of them, I got to say, has been utterly perfect. And to be honest with you, I feel like as if three for three is trying to find the personal favorites that each of the Halo fans has so they can take really a plethora of maybe two or three of them to add in the arena playlist as a full time map. Life is a brand new Forge creation that was added right into Halo Infinite. And I gotta say, it's a pretty damn good map. Essentially outlined by different levels where there's going to be power weapons kind of layered throughout the entirety of the kind of playing field, meaning that you have to find the best route to get to these different weapons and get the advantage because whoever has the highest spot is going to have really the, the easiest way of just mowing down opponents. It's pretty sizable for a 4v4 match, and I think, honestly, you could actually play a 6v6. But I think one of the other good things I saw right away was the fact that we're getting a plethora of new game modes to play in Halo Infinite. Obviously, we're going to get the return of the Super Husky raid, as well as Big Team Battle Heavies, which was always a fan favorite of mine. I feel like at this point, we should be seeing a lot more Big Team Battle Heavies being put into the game as a full time, more likely of a chance playing playlist, merely because of the fact that people want to see more vehicle combat and Big Team Battle. And I feel as if in the current state in which Big Team Battle is kind of formatted, the maps really aren't doing it a lot of favors. And I feel as if more vehicles will make Big Team Battle a lot more fun. We also did see the return of some of the HCS armor coatings. I mean, honestly, when you look at how these different, different armors and pieces kind of look, they've always been solid. I feel as if they've kind of been showing that they are giving really all these different teams a kind of first-hand kind of access to all the different art tools that you can use and i think the best part about it is that it's cross core so they essentially can work for any core that you have me and I, honestly it just makes it a lot more better to kind of customize your spartan with any sort of color scheme that you want i was always a fan of the fact that we get to be as customizable as possible and i feel like the fact that these are just helping directly give these teams some money and some funding to help them continue going on is always going to be a positive in my book as well. It just makes me kind of annoyed at times because if you see the great customizations that they're creating for the different teams, you almost wish that they can continue kind of allowing for players to pick and choose the colors and kind of designs they want for their Spartans because clearly it's possible with how unique that these schemes look. I mean, giving the player the ability to make their own versions and do whatever they want, I think would be just so damn cool to have. So I mean, like, yes, this is a great thing. This is a positive, but at the same time, it's also kind of like damn can't you just let me pick and do these different things for my spartan i mean damn man i feel like it's such an easy fix here now what is a major problem that i feel like this new update did do was add dredge into the ranked playlist and the problem with this is as as you can see on the screen with min blitz kind of exploiting a respawn glitch or a respawn point that is currently in the game that you can find a specific part of the map where people will continually spawn in the same spot and i can guarantee you that some sweaty dude in ranked would do this so easily to a bunch of players and it would just ruin the experience now i think this is good for min blitz to show everybody like how bad this is but like just think about it like how bad could this be imagine you're playing ranked and you're playing against some opponent and all of a sudden you just see some dude 
like mint blitz is pulling out his sniper and just start clapping you every single time i mean like that would be horrifying and as always we can make the case that store items in this game have always been bad but it feels as if they're just not really learning their lesson and three for three is going to continually do these price increases seems like they're going through their own sense of inflation and they will always make these bundles and kind of store items to be outrageously bad now granted there are some aspects that look pretty cool like they have the halo hcs kind of bundle it gives you like a little bit of a variant of like if it's from feathers and championship kind of armor cores along with it but like damn man like why don't you just make it easier to to gain like different coins so you can make these purchases without having to put in your credit card information like how about the fact that you maybe you add a lot more of these things into kind of more free content or make maybe make some accommodations for doing challenges to earn some of these different color coatings or, or armor pieces on their own i mean it would just only make halo fans a lot more happier jump back into the game to to unlock these different pieces if they had more of incentive to do so so overall when i look at this update and think whether or not you should jump back into it i feel as if this is a pretty sizable update for halo fans to really just go back and enjoy the game because of the fact that season five is so close to dropping and there's been a lot of different rumors from going that there's going to be firefight that there's going to be a whole lot of armor cores or armor pieces added to this game new weapons and equipment with all these rumors being thrown out there I feel like this update does give us some solid ground and solid footing to go in back and play the game. We all know what we want. We want season five. So we are hoping that with the Halo HCS series arriving really soon, that we'll get a lot more information about season five's release and what can we expect when it finally does drop. So my suggestion is go play this game, jump back into this update, have some fun with these maps because they might be going away really soon, but be on the lookout for when I do drop my Halo Season 5 preview that will be arriving most likely right after Halo HCS. But what do you think about this update? Are you excited to jump back into playing some of these Tenrai based maps? Are you excited to go try out some of these new game modes? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.